Well, hi again, everybody. Doug Miles along with uh, Don Henderson, and a Happy New Year to all of you. Glad to be back here as we do our uh, uh, video from uh, Sarasota. And Don, you and I just got back from uh, the ReliaQuest Bowl, a game we've had a chance to uh, to cover for the last, oh, I guess about 10, 12 years now. And uh, it was an interesting game today up in Tampa, Mississippi State against uh, Illinois. Yeah, we changed the name of the bowl, but uh, it used to be the Outback Bowl, which got a lot of publicity. Now the ReliaQuest Bowl, as you indicated, and what a finish. I mean, if you were a better, which happens so many times, <laughs> if you were a better, you looked at yourself with four seconds to go as a winner. If you were looking at Illinois, and if four seconds later, you were a loser. What they call a bad beat. Uh, <laughs> Mississippi State, 10-10, uh, and they go ahead with a field goal to make it 13-10 late in the game. And then uh, Illinois gets the ball back with a few seconds left, and then... Uh, uh, they tried the old kind of California play, a lot of uh, laterals on the last for four seconds left. They fumble that, and uh, Mississippi State scores a late touchdown, and that affected the point spread. Well, as I said to you, it was almost like the New England game two weeks ago, and, and you never think of the of, uh, New England Patriots losing a game because they're pitching the ball back. You never go backwards. Right. And, of course, what happened today, the same thing. They pitched the ball back trying to keep it alive, and it was picked up, uh, and uh, all of a sudden you got a... A touchdown with no time left, and you're a loser. Yeah, Illinois was plus 3.5. Yes. So even though Mississippi State would have won the game 13 to 10 if that didn't happen, you would have won on Illinois by half a point. By half a point. That play switched uh, a few dollars, took, I would imagine, out in Vegas. Took you right down the drain. <laughs> took you, but I tell you, it was an interesting game. Not that it was a high-scoring game. Very low scoring in the first half. Uh, not a lot of big plays, but some interesting plays. Uh, one touchdown, for instance, uh, uh, we really didn't get a good view of it. Even the replays in the press box, uh, the screen was not clear enough to tell whether his right foot was actually in the uh, Caught the ball at the end of the back of the end zone. Yeah, yeah, and you didn't know whether he was actually touching the out the end of the baseline, uh, the out of bounds line, or whether he was in. Uh, they looked at it, looked at it, looked at it, decided his foot was in, and uh, so that was a very sort of controversial play, uh, which went in favor of the player that caught the ball. But uh, in the end. <laughs> It was just an unusual finish. Very strange, and of course, uh, an emotional victory for Mississippi State. Of course, uh, the coach, head coach Michael Leach, passed away about a month ago. Yes. Obviously, suddenly, a uh, heart attack. And uh, so the team put a special logo on their helmet. Usually, they have a different logo. They went to a pirate flag, because uh, I think Michael Leach is known as the yes. pirate coach. Yeah. So the, uh, a good tribute to him before the game as well. I was just going to say, a nice tribute before the game. They put him on the, on the stadium screen. I had a moment of silence and uh, uh, the bands and everybody else uh, uh, sort of stood quietly and, and they gave him that moment of silence a minute. I did a very nice tribute to him and unfortunately uh, very surprising that he had the heart attack and passed away last week. Yeah, one of the uh, longtime top coaches, offensive minded coaches, give credit for uh, aerial type of attack yes. in every school he's been at. But uh, we didn't see a lot of aerial uh, dominance today it was, uh, in, in fairness, four weeks off roughly for these teams from the regular season of the bowl games. The offenses tend to suffer a little bit. Yeah, and they had a little, uh, you know, illegal motion uh, at times. Uh, uh, just didn't have the combination of their timing down too well. Took a little time to get into that into the second half. Second half was more competitive than the first half, right. although there wasn't a lot of scoring. As we said, it was 13 to 10 when all of a sudden you know, this unbelievable play took place with four seconds to go. But uh, very, very nice. 30, what, 5,000? Announced crowd about 35,700. Yeah. Which yeah. Uh, we kind of figured that would be it because yeah. both of those schools, you wonder how much they're going to be able to travel. Although yeah. the Illinois fans, I think, dominated as far as the number of fans. We saw a lot of orange shirts out yeah. there. That's yeah, their they, color. They had a lot of support. Big Ten had a lot of support. Uh, Mississippi State, uh, Mississippi, obviously, uh, not a very uh, lucrative state. Uh, so for them to make the trip, uh, whether driving or flying or whatever, uh, it's probably a little more difficult, and uh, they'll watch it on TV. But you're right, Illinois had a much uh, stronger alumni support barrier than uh, the Mississippi State did. I'd like to thank again our friend Mike Schultz, who uh, provided us with uh, the great accommodations once again. And I think uh, the new sponsor, ReliaQuest, after, what, about 10, 12 years of Outback Bowl, I think ReliaQuest uh, did a good job. They tried very, very hard. I thought they were very accommodating, very friendly. All the people that worked with them uh, that we met were very friendly. And as you say, uh, Mike Schultz, uh, who has been uh, 
director of uh, publicity for the uh, Outback Bowl, uh, when it was the Outback Bowl, now the Reliance Bowl, and he's been there for 30 plus years. Right. And uh, he did a great job, and as you said, took care of all of us. So uh, again, always fun on New Year's Day, or as uh, this year, it's on the 2nd of January because of the official holiday yesterday with the NFL getting the day, but uh, we enjoyed it once again, and uh, we just want to bring this uh, quick kind of post game to you, and we'll be uh, resuming our uh, uh, video programming uh, as Don is back here in Sarasota for a few months. We're here and ready to go. <laughs> it should be a lot of fun, and uh, I'll tell you, I'm sort of glad the bowl season is about over. we got a big weekend coming up with pro football. We've got a big weekend coming up with the college football championship game, which should be a lot of fun. And uh, so a lot of activity, and we'll get into that probably this weekend. Talk about that next week. But uh, the final score, once again, Mississippi State 19, Illinois attend from the Reliac West Bowl in Tampa. Don Henderson and Doug Miles, thanks for watching, everybody. We'll see you again.